Hello, Classy Cougars. Miss Shimizu here. Last week, we explored some strategies to help your child calm down when they are flipped. I hope that you found some time to put together a calm down basket or space and practice the breathing techniques we posted. Remember, when we are flipped, our thinking brain and our emotions are disconnected and we have trouble accessing our best self. Only when we calm ourselves down are we able to reconnect our thinking brain and our emotions and access our best self. Today I'm going to show you another tool that we use in the classroom to empower students to take control of the choices they make during difficult situations. The wheel of choice is a circle divided into slices like a pie. On each slice, there is a strategy the student finds particularly helpful in difficult situations. As I just mentioned, it can be difficult to access your thinking brain when you are flipped and your emotions are disconnected from your best self. This wheel of choice is a way for your students to access that thinking brain even when they are flipped. In moments like this, we encourage our students to use their wheel of choice. This wheel is individual to each student and includes words and sometimes pictures. Sometimes students will create a wheel of choice for a specific situation, or sometimes students will create a general wheel of choice that helps them with many difficult situations. Here are a few examples of a wheel of choice from different students. Notice how the choices on the wheels are solutions your child can try not solutions for someone else to try. For example, the choice says walk away, not make the other person walk away. It's important that the strategies on your child's wheel of choice are helpful and are strategies your child can do without your help. Remember, we're building independence and problem solving skills. You might also notice that there are pictures on the wheels. Pictures help younger children who are just beginning to read know the strategies without having to ask you for help. The wheels are used for problems that we call small or medium problems, like she took my crayon, or he called me a name, or I'm frustrated that I'm not allowed to have a snack. When we have big problems, we still encourage students to ask a caring adult for help. Let's make one together. You can get a piece of paper and a pen to make one yourself and follow along, or feel free to just watch. The first step in making a wheel of choice is drawing a circle. As I'm drawing my circle, I'm starting to think about moments when I felt frustrated or challenged by a situation, when something was hard or difficult, or I felt flipped. This helps me start to brainstorm strategies that I can put on my wheel of choice. One specific situation I'm thinking about right now is how loud it can get in my house when I'm working. And I need to find some strategies that I can try to help me solve my problem. So I've drawn my circle and now I'm going to divide it into pie slices. I can divide it into as many slices as I want, but I want to make sure that I'm not overwhelming myself. So I'm going to only divide it into four slices. Now I'm starting to think of the strategies that I can use when I'm frustrated by how loud it is in my house. One of the strategies that I go to right away is take a step outside. A breath of fresh air can sometimes help me calm down. So stepping outside can be that moment of quiet. Another strategy I can try is earplugs. Notice how my strategies are not strategies for my family members to try or 
for them to do. It's a strategy for me to try. The next strategy I can try is I can use an I feel statement. That might sound like I feel frustrated because I'm not able to get my work done because it's hard to concentrate with how loud it is. Or I feel like I'm having a hard time concentrating and it's starting to make me feel frustrated. Is there something you can do to help me? The last strategy I can try is to create a quiet space for myself. This is a space that I can go to to get away and find that quiet. All the strategies on my wheel of choice are strategies that I can try for myself. They're all things that I can do in the moment, and they're all things that are helpful to me. So how does this work? First, your child needs to make their wheel of choice. This can be made with the help of a caring adult. Remember that the strategies your child puts on their wheel of choice should be strategies that they can do by themselves and their strategies for them to try, not somebody else. Next, designate a place for the wheel to hang or live. This is important because your child will soon learn to use the wheel by themselves. When you notice that your child is flipped or experiencing those big emotions, you can say, I notice you might be feeling frustrated. Is there something on your wheel of choice that can help you solve your problem? Or you might say, I notice that you're feeling really sad right now. Let's look at your wheel of choice and see if there's anything that can help you solve your problem. In the beginning, your child will definitely need reminders to use their wheel of choice. But with practice and those gentle reminders from you, it will become natural for your child to start thinking about the choices they're making in those difficult and challenging situations. Remember, independence and problem-solving skills are the goal. This week, I encourage you to help your child create their own wheel of choice and use it during those challenging situations. The wheel of choice will help your child develop that independence and problem-solving. You can also make one for yourself. Until next time.